Happy learning. Today we're going to find an eigenspace of the matrix A. Okay, and so to start, let's find the eigenvectors. And so to do that, we need to find the determinant of the matrix A minus lambda I. To get A minus lambda I, basically we just take A and subtract lambda from each of the entries on the main diagonal. So you'd get this matrix. And we want to find its determinant. Okay, and so to find the determinant, let's do the cofactor expansion along this second row. Okay, so that's going to be negative four minus lambda times the determinant of the two by two matrix you get by removing this column and this row, which is one minus lambda, one, negative two, negative two minus lambda. Okay, let's find all of the eigenvalues. I know to answer this question, we only need one eigenvalue and find its corresponding eigenspace, but let's find them all. So we have negative four minus lambda times one minus lambda, negative two minus lambda, minus one times negative two, so plus two. All right, and this works out to negative four minus lambda times lambda squared minus lambda plus two lambda is plus lambda minus two plus two, which is zero, equals zero. And so let's factor this completely. We get negative four minus lambda, lambda plus one, and lambda, and that's equal to zero. So our eigenvalues are negative four, negative one, and zero. Okay, and so let's find, let's find the eigenspace for lambda equals negative one. All right, we could have picked any of them. So let's look at, so E negative one, to find that, we wanna find the null space of A minus negative one times I, so A plus I. So let's write out what A plus I is, and then we're gonna row reduce it and find uh, its null space. So A plus I, is the matrix two, zero, negative two, two, negative three, one, and one, zero, negative one. Okay, and we want to row reduce this. And this row reduces to the following matrix. Okay, and so we wanna find the null space of this matrix. This top row says that x1 plus 1 half x3 is equal to zero. The next row says x2 is equal to zero. And we could see since there's no leading one in this third column that x3 is free. Okay, so the eigenspace corresponding to eigenvalue negative one is equal to the set of all vectors of the form negative one half x3, zero, and x3. And we could write that as the span of the vector negative one half, zero, one. Okay, so the eigenspace for negative one is the span of the vector negative one half, zero, one. So not too bad, so find the eigenvalues and then find the null space of A minus that eigenvalue times I, which just takes a little row reduction. All right, thanks for watching, I'll see you later.